No question. It will do it better. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Bolts and Brass. This is 6.5 Grendel versus 300 Blackout. I don't know. I've probably done this already three times. But it's still valid. It's still worth talking about. And I have included two charts down below in the description. I also included links if you want to look at the full data. Um, I am basically comparing the 110 grain Barnes TAC TX with the 115 grain equivalent from Barnes 465 Grendel. And if you look at the charts, it's, it's pretty obvious why you would use 6.5 Grendel over 300 Blackout. And for hunting purposes, for self-defense purposes, if you are not using one of the advantages of 300 Blackout, and even if you are in many cases, you're, you're much better served with 6.5 Grendel. 300 blackout at the muzzle is at a serious deficit. You are barely at sufficient energy for most hunting purposes in the US. Eh, out to 100 yards or so with that bullet, maybe even 150, you're okay. It'll do the job. But 6.5 Grendel will do it better. No question, it will do it better. Sorry, on a time crunch, got to get breakfast at the same time. So if you're hunting hogs, if you're hunting deer, 6.5 Grendel is a superior round, even at short range. Is 300 blackout sufficient? Yes. But you give yourself more options with the 6.5 Grendel. You still have sufficient energy three, four, five hundred yards out. Now, okay, at 500 yards, that sufficient energy is, stop, is really getting borderline for anything larger than, you know, like axis deer or... Uh, I don't know, coyotes. It it still has better ballistics at that range. You know, your your ballistic arc is better. On paper, on steel, it is much more viable at any kind of extended range. Uh, you know, 300 Blackout really doesn't have a good ballistic arc. You really got to be doing your holdovers. Now, how valuable that is, I mean, it, are you really using a 6.5 Grendel for self-defense at 300 yards, 400 yards, 500 yards? Probably not, um, unless we're talking, you know, Civil War, World War III, zombie apocalypse here. That's not a real consideration. Could it be in the back of your mind as a, hey, it's one more justification for the caliber if I really don't need another caliber? I, yeah, absolutely. I don't, don't, don't discount marginal cases when you're going, well, I mean, we're ticking off boxes. Well, don't not tick the box. Just because it's a one or 2% thing, that's still one or 2%. It might put you over the edge from, eh, to, yeah. For comparison, and I'll, I'll cut this and insert this earlier in the video. Uh, a At 200 yards, a 70 grain 223 hunting load. Uh, I don't remember which one it was, but common hunting load had roughly 870 foot-pounds of energy at 200 yards. Hey, I need you to go click subscribe and a thumbs up. We need the help. YouTube does not like firearms channels. It does not like anything that shows guns, ammo, magazines, shooting at any kind. Every little bit of help you can give us with the YouTube algorithm goes a long way in keeping channels like this and, and some of the more entertaining-oriented firearms channels going. We've already covered 6.5 Grendel absolutely wins. If you are looking for the best hunting round in an AR, that's 6.5 Grendel. I don't know a better choice as a general purpose hunting round. If you're looking for a very short range hunting round, there are other choices that are better. If you're looking for purely super long range small game hunting, there are better rounds. But if you're looking to build an AR for hunting, and you want one, you know, one setup. Really hard to beat. I, I don't know of anything that does it better. Particularly if you're willing to SBR it or do an AR pistol setup because 6.5 Grendel works really well in a 12 and a half inch barrel. You don't lose a lot of velocity 
Now, it is a 300 blackout where you can go down to like an eight and a half inch barrel and maybe lose some energy, right? But a 12 and a half inch barrel suppressed on a 6.5 Grendel, that's a sweet package. That is really nice. And for hunting purposes, for self-defense purposes, for general purpose use, that's almost an ideal setup for an AR, I, in my opinion, and in the opinion of most of the people who have used them, right? I am, I am essentially a parrot here. Do I like my eight and a half inch barrel plus eight inch suppressor 300 blackout? Absolutely. Do I think that's better in terms of size? Yeah. But I would take like a six inch suppressor on a six, uh, six five Grendel, 12 and a half inch barrel, yeah, the package is a little longer overall, but not massively. And the weight balance is probably similar because I've got a lighter suppressor on the end. Is it going to be as quiet? No, but if I'm shooting super, sub, uh, supersonics, it's quiet is, is relative, right? So, yeah. Um, and that 12 inch, 12 and a half inch 6.5 Grendel is still going to have more energy than the 300 Blackout you're still going to be superior for hunting. Now, where does the 300 Blackout win? Because it, it does win. It does have an area where it is superior. If you are a 5.56, 223 user, and you're looking to add something else to your stable, and you're not looking for the best hunting round, you're looking for one that can do it. You, you have normal hunting distances, 100 yards and in, and you're probably gonna shoot it suppressed, you're going to have fun with subsonics, uh, or at least you would like that option, right? And you're looking for maximum commonality. Uh, you know, this isn't going to be something you're going to use a ton. You don't want to pour a bunch of money into it. So 300 Blackout lets you use the same magazines, the same bolts. So if you've got a spare bolt, right, you don't have to buy another one. Uh, you know, buying two 6.5 Grendel bolts, so you've got a spare not not in the, not an insignificant additional expense. Buying extra magazines. Uh, I am a firm believer, if you own a gun or a caliber, have enough magazines that when they decide to ban them, you go, yeah, screw you, I don't care. I've got mine. So anyway, ciao guys.